guys, welcome back. So in this video, I will show you where to find the Fin Gleam Enchanted Helmet. So normally I would recommend that you have a potion of night eye on you, or you can use a spell. I would also recommend finding a way to breathe underwater, whether it's a potion, a spell, and if your character is an Argonian, well, that's a plus. So the night eye potion or spell will help you see better underwater, and the uh, potion or spell that helps you breathe underwater, well, it'll help you breathe underwater. <laughs> now in this case, I'm going to show you how to find the helmet without using any of those things. It makes it a little bit harder, but it's not impossible. Okay, so up here on my map, we are at Anvil, and we are outside of the Horse Whisperer stables. So from here, I'm gonna scroll over to the left. So watch my arrow and see that little island? We're gonna set a marker on that island. Okay, so I'm gonna click X to set marker. Do you wanna set your marker? Yes. And we're gonna get out of the map and we're gonna head towards that blue marker. All right, let's get going. This helmet will come in handy when you first start the game, especially if you have nothing on you. And the reason I say that is because this helmet is enchanted with detect life up to 20 feet. It's enchanted with night eye and it's also enchanted with water breathing. So if you just started this game, one of the first things that I would do after you escape the Imperial sewers is go get this helmet because it will help you out tremendously, especially when you are doing different quests at level one. And it's a glass helmet, so it looks pretty cool. So right there in the distance, it's a little foggy, but you can see the island straight in front of me and also have a weapon out and ready to fight because usually there's like a crab or two crabs that you have to fight. I know they're around here somewhere. I hear the change in music. So, oh, there he is. Okay, sweet, there's just one. Okay, so let's go. So let's head to that island. Oh, quick tip. Make sure you save your game at some point here when you get to the island, because it might take you a couple of tries to get to the helmet. So in case you die, you can always go back and load your game and try again. Okay. On top of this island, there is a specific rock that we have to jump off of. If you jump off the island anywhere else, you will have a much harder time finding the Fen Gleam Helmet. All right, this is the rock, and you're just gonna walk off straight ahead or jump off. I usually just walk off, and it's gonna be dark, but you're gonna just go straight and go all the way down to the bottom and you'll see it, it kind of glimmers and shines right there. And now you're gonna put it on real quick. And now you can breathe and see better. Woohoo! So again, it might take you a couple of tries, so make sure you save your game. And this is without any kind of potion or spell. So if you just started this game, it is possible to get this helmet with or without the water breathing and the night eye potion. So here it is. This is what it looks like. And then as you can see, it's light armor, water breathing, night eye, and detect life 20 feet on self. Woohoo! hoo 
see it kind of looks bluish whenever you have it on because that's what the night eye looks like but now I have it off and it's pretty foggy today but it's all good anyway guys I hope that I was able to explain everything well and I hope that I was able to help you guys out and yeah so enjoy your new helmet and we'll see you next time bye